welcome back everyone. The locals heading westbound to Bayonne at 11.39. So they should be at least getting to uh, a Valiant at least around uh, hopefully by 12. But here they come, brother dude here. Welcome back to another amazing adventures on the DQ and E, known as the Queen Eastern Railroad on the hot rails. And my friend is back from vacation. My other friend's working in Valiant tonight. So, further here to do, let's get back live action. Alrighty everyone, they're on their way to Valiant. Alrighty guys, if you want to know if they came through, just look at the shine. Let's look at the shine. Man, look at that shine. That's how you know they just came through. So, so see you guys next time on another episode on the DQ and E, known as the Queen Eastern Railroad. There goes my friends, they're on their way. My other friend is on vacation tonight, so my other friend is taking his shift tonight. So they should be back at least hopefully maybe for two i don't know they might switch for hubert and um they might have to uh do greg's so so further here to do everyone share comment subscribe i'll see you guys next time on next adventures on the dq and e railroad so be safe out there buckle your seat belts and don't be texting don't be texting driving don't be beating a freight train or anything like that 
It's dangerous to beat a freight train, so don't do it. And don't do that to prove to your girlfriend or um, don't prove that to your boyfriend. Uh, this goes for girls, too. That's what I'm saying. Uh, boys and girls, do not, do not be showing off to your friends about you running in front of a train or beating a freight train. That's not safe. That's reckless. And it can get you killed or hurt. And you don't want memories of a train. So, so remember that. Don't be texting or driving. Do not be beating a freight train. And, and find a safer way. If you're wanting to beat it, find a safer way around it and stay ahead of it if you if you feel like that if you don't get the patience for the train just find a rail crossing they just came through or just find one that's way ahead of them and just go around so and then when you do that you have to pay attention because that could be that that crossing where you're going to be at so it's always best to stay put at these rail crossings or wherever you're at so so guys trains do win every time train at Trains do stop after they hit you. It takes a mile for them to stop. So, and so, and um, so, and I really don't want to see somebody run a road crossing in front of me. So, <laughs> so I wouldn't try that. <laughs> and uh, uh, I, I really don't think the Brokeable PD would like to, or any other PD would love love to uh, be uh, uh, be there for the accident. So, so guys. Please, uh, please avoid, uh, please avoid getting hit by trains and stuff like that, and uh, you know stuff like that. Because Brokebo, Idabel, all the PDs were busy except Valiant, and so they were busy this weekend. Uh, Valiant's not a very busy town; doesn't have that much activity for wrecks or accidents or nothing like that. But Idabel and Broken Bow and all the other areas. Yeah, they're very busy. So I thank I thank my friends in the blue who wears the badge. Um, they're really nice. Um, the Brokebo PD, they're really nice. The Idaho PD, the uh, the sheriff's department, they're friendly. Uh, I, met, I met the police chief of Brokebo. He's really nice, and uh, this is a shout out for him. Um, I thank you for your job. I hope I uh, hope I get to talk to you again, and uh, hopefully, hopefully you get to be uh, with me filming a train whenever you have the time and um, stuff like that. So, and it's and it, it's a big shout out to all of my new subscribers, including the one it's the 16th subscriber. So please, guys, uh, please. Uh, so everyone, uh, some of you, some of you viewers and some of you subscribers, thank you for supporting me and hopefully hopefully some of the viewers might help out and support my channel so don't forget to link comment subscribe if you haven't already and press the notification bell and press the bell for any notifications of any of my videos that's posted posting out so so hope y'all like this video hopefully if i don't come back i gotta work tomorrow until five i'll put in windshields for trucks and cars like this like side glass back i'm at the I put windows and stuff in for these trucks and uh, glass like this and for vehicles and windshields like this so that's what I do for my daytime job so so stop at a new view he'll shoot you a good price if you got insurance insurance will help you out big time and uh, he'll help you out with a good window he helped me out with a couple of windows uh, he helped me out with a window uh, a windshield. Uh, I had an old windshield. It wasn't very good, so I replaced it. But um, so he cut me a um, he cut me a good deal, and so he was a friend of mine, and I, you know that type of thing. So he so I worked for him putting the windshield in because I know him. But um, I still paid it off though, so I helped him put it in, but I still had to pay it off. But now I'm working for him, so now so now I know how to put a windshield in and take one out and put one in. It's a lot of work, but I can do that. So, and he does chip repair. So, 45 for a small little chip repair. If it's more than that, then it's gonna be about 75. That is fair for chips. That's very cheap versus uh, putting in a new windshield. So, so guys, please be careful. How? So uh, you know, just please take care of your windshield and treat it like a pair of eyes. So, so um, you know. Mostly stay back from rock trucks and uh, dump trucks and 
uh, other vehicles that might haul rock, like a truck with a, with a dump bed, always be cautious of that. So, share, comment, subscribe, be safe out there. Hopefully, hopefully you stop down at New View Auto Glass Shop. He does windshields, and that's about all he does, glue ends. Uh, he does glue ends, that's about it. And he also does chip repair. So, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. And hopefully I might see you down there. He's right in front by Romas and Cata Corner from Pumpin' Bolanos. So, if anybody needs a price for a windshield, um, just go down there and uh, he'll shoot you a price. And then uh, if you're ever around down there, uh, you can meet me in person. I am his apprentice, so I'm always going to be working there. So you may, you may not, you may or may not recognize me because I'm in different hats. And so, so like I said, so share, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Marshall out. Thanks for watching.